The Micro Machines are back, souped up and turbocharged. This is Micro Machines 96. Loads of new motors. Up to eight players can burn rubber at once. And you can get stuck in a 65 chaotic courses. There's even a unique construction kit so you can design and race on your own tracks. Micro Machines 96 on Mega Drive. Not for people with one track minds. And to my family, I leave the sum of nine pounds, 99 pence, so that they may enjoy dinner in my honor. It can't be legal. The KFC family feast. Eight pieces of chicken, fries, barbecue beans, coleslaw, and a family dessert, all for just 9.99. <clears throat> and the rest of my multi-million pound fortune, I leave to Elsie, my beloved cat. KFC makes a meal a feast. The great taste of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum lasts a long, long time. The refreshing minty taste just goes on and on. And on and on. Enjoy the cool, refreshing taste of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. The flavor lasts a long, long time. We at Poop are delighted to announce that the nickel lottery is finally over. That is not strictly true. There is still one more jackpot to come. But after all those mega prizes, what could they possibly come up with next? There's still time to win a trolley dash at Toys R Us for you and your school on Nickel Lottery 2. It's not possible. You don't get anything for nothing. Oh, yes, you do. Win the chance of a Toys R Us trolley dash on Nickel Lottery 2. Make it Christmas every day for your cat with Sheba. The recipe of love. Yeah, it's not too late to change your mind, you know. Hey, no, six years really isn't that long to get to know a lass. It's traditional. The condemned man has a hearty breakfast. Mm, great. Delicious flakes of corn drenched in ice cold milk. Kellogg's corn flakes. How could you have forgotten how good they taste? Hello? Steve? It's that lass from last night. Mm. Only joking, it's your mum. Has <laughs> <laughs> he eaten his breakfast? <laughs> Kellogg's cornflakes, too good to be forgotten. When crunchy roast nuts and delicious smooth chocolates collide inside m and prepare for a taste explosion! Nice try. First break, Tony. You got it. Hey, play for the court. You're on. We did it! When you've had a great game, there's nothing like the great taste of Frosties as part of your nutritious breakfast. Kellogg's Frosties. They're great! Remington Steam Setter uses foam rollers that moisturize while they shape, so you can change your hair as often as you change your mind. This Christmas, there are hundreds of price tech savings at Summerfield, like one pound of our selected potatoes. Tasty ham on the bone at half price. And fresh topside of beef down to an amazing 188 a pound. Now that's good value. Price check at Summerfield. Savings that add up. When crunchy roast nuts and delicious smooth chocolates collide inside M&M's, prepare for a taste explosion! Make it Christmas every day for your cat with Sheba, the recipe of love. Duracell, with its unique titanium technology, lasts much longer than ordinary zinc batteries. Duracell, with unique titanium technology. The finger-licking KFC Family Feast now comes with Walls Viennetta. The KFC Family Feast, only $9.99. Attention, due to weather, all flights are canceled. 
We're stuck. But I have an idea. We'll play it over our phones. Can you do it? Yeah. Wherever you get held up, Samsung has the technology to keep you in touch. Samsung. Oh, hiya, guys. Hey, look at me. All alone again. They've deserted me. <laughs> They've left me with just my memories. Oh, little do they know, I don't need them to have fun. Oh, no. I've got all the entertainment I need right here with me. <laughs> do you know, last year, do you remember? I wowed them all with my sparkling wit. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hiya, guys. Welcome back to the Panto. Well, it's happened, guys. Yes, it has. The Prince has danced with cinders. Yeah. They've even had a bit of a kickabout with the ball, so it must be serious. <laughs> Only trouble is, of course, Dick Whittington, my so-called master, he's been chatting her up as well, so who knows what's going to happen to it. Shh, somebody's coming. What are you ah! doing? <laughs> um, uh, pardon me for the strange entry. I had trouble getting past the sentry. I must speak to Cinderellington. She mustn't marry that Prince Charming Fellington. Listen, it's OK, so come, come here, come here, come here. You don't have to speak verse in front of me, you oh, know. Oh, that is a relief. Yeah, it looks like we're both in the same boat. My master, Dick Whittington, fancies her as well. Oh, no. Yeah, th you love her as well, don't you? <laughs> have you got a broken heart? No, it's just that this costume is really itchy. Of course it is. Uh, sorry. Any anyway, we've got to find out a way of putting off both of them. Mm, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Coming this way, hide. Uh, oh, Oh, Alice, your teeth are like stars. They come out at night. Sorry. Your cheeks are like petals. Uh, bicycle petals. <laughs> nice one. Young sir, I do not take exception to those who trifle with my affection. I didn't see any trifle, did you? No. Mm. I have one thing to say to you. Oh, no, the clock. It's time I flew. Oh, Alice. Ow. Who? She said her name was Alice Fitzwarren. Eh? But it's not, it's Cinderellington. Oh, I get it, I get it. She didn't want her ugly sisters to know it was her. <laughs> Smart move. Mm. Oh, foolish youth, the maid has fled. My heart is rent, I'm good as dead. And all that remains is this golden slipper. It's a welly boot and smells like a kipper. Your <laughs> foolish prank will cost you dear. I will banish you away from here. I banish one, I banish all. Oh, I'm sorry, we're banished. Um, Blimey, ne never to show our faces here again. That's terrible. No, it's not. Not that bad, eh? At least we can go somewhere sunny. Oh. Morocco's nice. Mm. <laughs> oh, the pain. Oh, the misery. Oh, acting. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Dick, come on. You'll make your fortune. You'll come back and win her hand. Huh? And if you're really lucky, you might win the rest of her. <laughs> I know you will. Do you really think so? I know so. I've read the book. <laughs> Half my wealth to the young man who can rid my kingdom of fish. Ah! Fish! Oh. Oh. Right, oh. Oh. Yeah. Fish. No problem. Oh. Come in. Oh. 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 Take that, you haddock. Oh. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh. Oh. And now we proudly present Act Three of Cinderellington. And her wonderful cat. Oh, yeah, sorry. And her wonderful cat. <laughs> sorry, DJ, I forgot. <laughs> Ouch! What was that for? I don't know. I forgot. Oh, woe is me. Alack the day. I'm back in tatters, and here I'll stay. Dear sirs, what means this bold intrusion? I'm shocked and covered in confusion. Dear Cinderellington, can't you see? There is no stranger here. It's me. Oh, zip it, Buttons. Don't start all that verse nonsense again. We'll be here all day, won't we? Listen, um, this is Dick and this is Buttons. <laughs> we went abroad and made our fortune. Piles and piles of cash. And now we're back. He wants to marry us. So go on, Mrs. Have a bash. With oh, blimey, I'm doing it now, aren't I? <laughs> what do you say then, Cinders? Will you get married? To you? <laughs> no, to me. Ow. Yes! Oh. Lovely, yes. Hey, don't start kissing. We'll get letters. His Majesty Prince Charming! Ooh. 
has issued this decree. Whoever fits this golden shoe shall get to marry he. So all ye damsels far and near, prithee come along to try and fit this golden shoe. I hope their feet don't pong. Oh, lordy, what a quandary. That prince once stole my heart. I know that shoe will fit me well. I think I'm going to get really cross in a minute. You can't marry the prince. You've already said you'll marry Dick and live happily ever after. I mean, you've got to do that, haven't you? It happens in all the pantos. You can't marry both of them. That's big of me. What's big of you? You haven't done anything. No. Marrying two people is big of me. But you haven't married two people, have you? I thought you were in love with Cinders. No. Oh, forget it. What about the prince? What about him? You don't want to marry him as well, do you? This boy must really like wedding cake. Oh, no, I think what he means is, isn't it the prince that's supposed to settle down and get married and live happily ever after? Thank you. I do. Blimey, he's trying to marry me now. Uh, no, the point is, if I marry Cinderella, then uh, we're going to have to find somebody to marry the prince. <laughs> oh, not now. Oh, sorry. No, wait, 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 wait. I think he may have solved our problem. DJ, I feel stupid. Well, don't sound so surprised. <laughs> now, you know what you've got to do? Yes, yes, yes. I tried the shoe on, say, it fits, it fits. Marry the prince and live happily ever after, right? Mm, you might sound a bit more cheerful about it. Hey, 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 come on. Oh. If you marry that prince, yeah. you'll never have to do the national lottery again. What are you talking about? Rats aren't allowed to do the national lottery in the first place. Even better. The prince is coming down the road. Ow! Has he got his ball with him? I, I didn't notice. Only I thought we might have a kick around after the wedding reception. Hey, that's a good idea. Not you, not you. You'll be on your honeymoon. <laughs> Still, never mind. Come on, come on. Now, you all know what to do. Keep out of sight. Well, go on then. Oh, sheesh. <laughs> the prince is here. His Royal Highness Prince Charming. Ooh. Oh, good on the trumpet, ain't he? Where's my man, servant? Dandini? I am Dandini. Oh, oh really? Yes, Dandini, really, the famous Irish manservant. And who is this old fool? <laughs> nobody. Oh, really? Yes, nobody, really, his brother. The... I'll shut up, Shanna. You found the foot that fits the shoe. The foot? He's found the other bits, too. You found the foot that fits the shoe. A maiden fair whose heart is true. She is even here, sweet Cinderellington. So cut the cackle and give her the Wellington. Bring me the shoe so I may decide if she's indeed my future bride. <laughs> Doesn't that always get to you, guys? Just when things are really tense, the stupid band decides to have a practice. You know, rubber is always tricky to get on. I don't know whether any of your family are into rubber, Your Highness, but you know... It fits! It fits! I smell a rat! I knew you should have had a bath. Huh? Wait, look at that, Your Majesty! A perfect fit! Then ring the bells and bake the cake. We will be wed. Oh, what a mistake. Hurrah! And now our pantomime is over. Love has triumphed and we're all in clover. And now it's time for me to say, give us a clap and we'll be on our way. <laughs> I expect you think, after all our bravery, it was jolly unfair we were sold into slavery. The Sultan's taken pity on our plight. Yes, I work days. And I work nights. Oh. <laughs> I expect I looked an awful clown dressing up and fooling around. I must say I felt a bit of a Jesse. Only popped round to give Blissy a prezzy. <laughs> oh. The day has come for joy and laughter and living happy ever after. He's wrong. It won't happen yet until I've taken him to the vet. <laughs> the bell shall ring for Cinder Ellington, who found true love but lost her Wellington. And here is something for which I'll vouch. Love will always triumph. Out. <laughs> and so, with all our stupid rhymes, we finish off our pantomime. We really hope you've had a ball. A Merry Christmas to you. Discrimination? You can't get away with this. Discrimination? You are discriminating against me for being furry. You are all being furrist. Oh, what are you talking about? You'll all be giving each other presents, won't you? You smooth skin types always stick together. You cannot get away with this sort of discrimination. Yeah, well, if you'd stop being such a Scrooge and spend some money, we might change our minds. Me? A Scrooge? Rubbish. I'm not mean. I'm careful, that's all. 
OK, guys, it's time for you to check some of this out. I'll catch you later. I... Me? A Scrooge? Cheek. Priming to save the world from the evil Decepticon. <laughs> the thrills of real racing with Scale Electric because only Scale Electric has the latest super saloons with quick fit guide blades to really get you moving fast. Add to that working headlights and tail lights, then Electric's the winner! So to get into all the latest in racing, get into new super saloons and Ford Sport only from Scale Electric. Britain's best love meal wouldn't be the same without Britain's best love stuffing. So don't forget the Paxo this Christmas. No passionate embraces. No silly sunsets. <laughs> no nothing, man. It's just a fragrance. Straight, simple, clear. There's no reason to buy this fragrance unless you like the smell. Hugo, yeah, Hugo Boss. Don't imitate, innovate. Third one. Yeah, I scored two, and then they gave me the third film free. OK. This Christmas score a hat-trick of great Fuji shots for the price of two. Welcome to the world of DeLonghi, where ordinary things are made extraordinary. Take the DeLonghi deep-fat rotofryer. The rotating basket is set at an angle. Because it dips the food, you only need half the oil. And cleaning couldn't be easier. No lifting or tipping. Simply watch the oil drain away. Household appliances from DeLonghi. Extraordinary. The Jumpness Monster's coming out soon. Cause we're dangling some Cocoa Pops from our balloon. When he sees the milk and chocolatey, he'll come out with a spoon. But we're ready for him. Away we go! <laughs> Pops. They turn the milk really chocolatey, see? So as part of a nutritious breakfast, have a bowl of Cocoa Pops. Kylie, Hefty, Shorty and Coco, that's me. Brilliant reflectors to brighten up your bike. One free in each special pack of Kellogg's Cocoa Pops. <laughs> Military attack vehicles that become mobile troop command centers with awesome blaster power. Mobile command centers and blaster vehicles. Hi, I'm Alex, and I want to turn you onto the power of your kids' imagination. This is Pico from Sega. Sega! The software is called Storyware. Turn the page and it changes right there on your TV screen. See? While she's playing Winnie the Pooh, she's learning all about numbers. With Mickey's blast from the past, he's having fun with history. And while he's playing Magic Crayons, he's learning to animate his own cartoon show. The amazing Pico from Sega at the world's biggest toy superstores, Toys R Us. Remington Steam Setter uses foam rollers that moisturize while they shape, so you can change your hair as often as you change your mind. After eating, dentists agree plaque acid weakens tooth enamel, but chewing Orbital Wrigley's Extra stimulates saliva which fights plaque acid and helps strengthen teeth against decay. To clean up after your family's baths with an ordinary liquid, you have to rub. But with the power of Jip Bathroom, you don't. 
Its power spray attacks lime scale and will dissolve soapy marks without rubbing. Just spray on and leave for a few minutes, rinse away, and look, everything's brilliantly clean. With no effort and no sponge. Jif Bathroom for brilliant, sparkling results. That's the power of Jif. DJ, shouldn't we wait for Emma? I mean, it was her that found Malcolm. No, no, I've waited long enough, surely. I'm not going to wait any longer. This news just has to be broadcast. At long last, we know where Malcolm needs to go to to meet up with his mates and catch his space bus home, yeah, and leave us in peace. Yeah, DJ, should we just go through the clues one more time that Malcolm gave what? us? What? Oh, if you must, go on. Make sure it's quick, though. Yeah, all right, all right. Well, all right. we know that this place is somewhere hot with palm trees. You can swim, dive and fish in the river and the sea, and also you can learn to limbo dance. Now, the colours of the flag are black, green and yellow, and last week Malcolm gave us another three clues. He showed us a pot of jam, a large letter A and a toy car. So it was all blooming obvious, wasn't it, you see? Jam, A... Car! Jam a car! Jamaica! Well, it's obvious, DJ. That's why you thought it was strawberry letter car. I mean, it's a good job some of the guys got the correct answer. Yeah, all right, all right. I, I knew really, though. I knew really. I just wanted to um, give all the cat fans out there, all the viewers, a chance to win that holiday. <laughs> Mind you, you did all know the answer, didn't you, guys? It was Jamaica! Oh, that's not strictly true, DJ, because some of you, some of you thought that this place was Cornwall, South Africa, Bondi Beach, uh, Venezuela, uh, Melton Mowbray, or even Toronto. Yeah, all right, all right. Yeah, most of you did get it right, guys. And take a look at these entries. Oh, yes. Go on, Joey, go oh, on. Here we go. Ooh, Step them up. But Malcolm, be careful, because he's going to... Oh, dear. <sighs> dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Now the T-shirt, please. Get yourself over. Busy, busy, busy. Here we are. Right. 50 runners-up are going to get a Malcolm Meatball Head T-shirt. We cannot say fairer than that. But, guys, we have chosen an overall winner, OK? Her entry... <gasps> oh, oh, oh. It's a girl! Yes. Every, I'm sorry, boys, it's a girl. Her entry really stood out, didn't it? We it couldn't did. ignore this. Now, 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 take a look at it. What do you reckon to that, then, guys? Isn't that good? Yeah? That's good enough to eat, that is. It really is good. So, here we go. With Malcolm's Lump of Gold, we are going to be sending... <laughs> Samantha Wolf from Thundersley to Jamaica! Yes! yes. yes. Isn't that good? That's brilliant, isn't it? What? Uh. They kissed me. They kissed me. And Malcolm Beeple, let's go in too. Yippee! Isn't that great? See you guys. 